going to do a little uh, tutorial here on how to unwrap an object cylindrical and um, so in this case a round object so I'm going to take this here and what I'm going to do is take my cylinder I'm going to scale it and I'm just going to texture it like this this is going to be a barrel maybe make it a little bit bigger something like that so here's my barrel which will soon to be a barrel uh, with the texture on it and let me get Photoshop started down here um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to unwrap this so I'm going to go panels save the layouts persp and UV editor and the correct way to unwrap this, I'm going to make sure I hit this little blue toggle shaded UV display on. And in order to unwrap this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold space bar, go to UV, and do cylindrical. Now, one of the things right away, you'll see that this becomes into a perfectly straight line, sort of uh, top and bottom. But it doesn't, if I select this here, and I go tool, smooth UV tool, and then I unfold it, you're going to see it starts to unwrap and unfold really weird. And that's because the top and the bottom caps are still on. So what I'm going to do for those individually, I'm going to select them all. You can do a quick or selection like so. And I'm going to just do, you can do uh, uh, best plane texturing. Oh, UV. Oh, planar. And you always want to check. Um, so I just hit best plane, fit projection to best plane. And then go ahead. And I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. I'm going to click apply. And then I'm going to click close. And now I'm going to highlight all these polygons. I'm going to try unfold and there it goes. Um, so what I did was I just clicked the polygons unfold and it automatically resizes everything so that it'll fit directly in the UV bounding box here and it creates, um, lays out the UVs and unfolds them at the same time so uh, you get a nice clean unfold. Now one of the other things you can do is one thing I know is that you can get a little bit more room if you unwrap things on an angle. And this is a really common trait uh, for anything trying to maximize the space of the UVs. So now I can go ahead and take this one, put it over here. And I got just a little bit more room, but it adds uh, a whole lot more detail. Um, so you can do that. You can keep it the same way. Um, I'm just showing you the best way to optimize your scene. Um, and then just make sure that you're not okay good and that's um, gonna be the UVs I use for this object now from here I'm gonna highlight these polygons UV snapshot browse desktop and this will be barrel UV and go ahead and click OK. Barrel UV.TGA. In Photoshop, I'm going to open up that image. And also, I'm going to save this image, which I found online. And now in Photoshop, I'm going to open those image files. And what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to um, clean
clean this up just a bit. So I only want just the barrel itself. And I'm going to paste that in here. And I'm going to change my opacity here to about 50 just so I can see. And I'm going to rescale it to fit right inside. Zoom in a little bit if you need to. And just resize it to fit. And something like so. Press return. OK, now I'm going to bring this back up to 100. And you can see slightly just the outside of some of the UV itself. So I'm just going to scale it slightly larger. This doesn't need to be absolutely perfect, but just to show you. All right, that'll work. I'm going to duplicate that layer. Go ahead and bring it over here. And there's the top and bottom of my barrel. Now here, I'm going to Take this image, resize it, zoom in, something like that, and I'm going to duplicate it and just shift it over. Okay. Just simply putting this into place, and I'm going to need one more. Okay, now I'm going to save this out. I'm going to save it out as a PSD file. Click OK. So I always maintain the editable file. And now I'm going to save it out as uh, also a TGA. And I'm going to make sure I click this little alpha channels button and click OK. 32 bits pixel. Go back into Maya. And now I'm going to assign new material. Blend. Search color. Go to file. Click here under image name. Desktop. And I'm going to do barrel diffuse.tga and click OK. And make sure I press 6. And now I've got my barrel here fully textured. And there it is. So um, there's the barrel itself, uh, just placed directly onto a cylindrical shape. And um, from here, you can't really see the seam very well. Um, looks pretty good. So that's uh, a really good plus. The seam would be right about here. And um, you can barely even tell. Um, anyway, if you'd like to fix up the seam, you may or may not have to do that. But my seam would be right here. And you could sort of see it, but. I'm not too worried about it. I would just go ahead and go back into Photoshop and start readjusting some of the images a little bit. Um, but for the most part, it looks pretty good. And um, that's all I've got on how to unwrap a cylindrical object for today. Thanks for watching.